Welcome back to this important segment of our broadcast as we present the meeting held yesterday. In fact, the meeting was a successful, this the best meeting so far in the grand space as the issue of disbursement was discussed and a way forward and how the approach to undo the issue of disbursement, the issue in order to ensure that disbursement take place. You pay attention to what actually happened and the way forward in order to bring disbursement to our account. Thank you for joining Good News Live. Update. Good morning, fellow Nigerians. I remain your own brother, Pastor Peter Umezurikem. Coming up this morning, the 29th day of April 2024, just to update the grand community concerning our last ninth meeting, I want to sincerely appreciate all the great men and women that took out of their tight shadows to be present in yesterday's ninth meeting. I want to sincerely appreciate you all for your time for your contributions and everything. And I sincerely want to apologize to so many Nigerians who were interested in joining us in that meeting, though there were some were not privileged to join, either because of the reason of the venue which we conveyed that meeting yesterday night. Some were expecting the meeting to be on Telegram platform. Then we decide to do something different. We decide not to use Telegram platform, reasons best known to us, and we decide to be making use of Google Meet. I want to sincerely apologize to everyone. I am coming up this morning to also let the masses know that even though our invitees, Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama and Comrade Abdul Yakubu, we are not present in that meeting yesterday night to answer to our questions which we have thrown before them in the public space. But we want to believe that it's not that they dishonor the meeting because they feel like to dishonor it. We want to believe that maybe, probably, there were no chance to be in that meeting yesterday night. And we believe in our subsequent meeting, they shall honor that meeting. I want to say to Nigerians, please, the truth remains this. You cannot continue to do the same thing the same way and expect different results. That is an insanity of the highest order. What I want Nigerians to know is that this group, we are not here to abuse Apostle Ken Wakama or to abuse, abuse AGPGN for no just cause. And I want to say to Nigerians, anyone doing that is doing it on his own detriment because that is not the purpose why we created this group. We want to know the truth and the reality of where we are concerning the disbursement of this fund. That is only what we want to know because we were made to understand that Everything is ready and set for disbursement. And I, I always said that there is nobody on this planet that can give what he doesn't have. And over and over, we have been made to understand that the said fund has not been transferred to the designated account for disbursement. And there is nothing this our grant leaders can do if the money is not given to them. So fighting them, abusing them, quarreling them will never give us the disbursement. We have done that in grand community. We have abused telecom leaders. We have abused Tiobat. We have abused Supreme Golden Bridge. Name them. We have abused them. The question remains, have that given us disbursement? The answer is capital no. So we are changing approach to it. We want to tackle it exactly where the problem is. When you know a problem half known, known is half solved. We have known where the problem is. Because if this phone has been given to them to disburse and they refuse to disburse it, then that is when we will be justified to attack them and to do whatever or agitate against them. We are not here to agitate against LGBTN, neither Apostle Ken Makama or UAG management. No, we are not here for that. We are here to agitate and to ask them to tell us who are those authorities or government committee who have refused to transfer this fund to them for disbursement. And I want to say to our able leaders, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama and Comrade Abdul Yakubu, please, sir, with all due respect, Nigerian masses want to know those authorities that have been promising you and failing you. And you and I are aware of that. That they have been promising you and failing you. They have been asking you to do this and you do, and at the end, you will not you have not still get this fund for this woman. The Nigerian masses want to know who they are because we believe they are human beings 
and they live on this planet Earth and they are citizens of this great nation. So we want to know them. Please, we are calling on you to tell us, tell the masses who they are. Tell us who they are. We have done all that you people require us to do. I could still remember we have locked our platform severally. When you could come up to tell us that the, that the, everywhere have to be calm for this development to come, that all platform will be locked, and we have locked our platform on several locations. At the end of the day, they are still giving us the same story. But now, we are no longer going to keep quiet. We are no longer going to keep our mouth shut because the Nigerian masses are suffering. Enough is enough. And the truth is this. If at the end of this week, starting from today, Monday, we do not get disbursement, we want to say to you, sir, we are taking it in another dimension. There is no way you will beat a child and ask that child not to cry. It's not possible. We are we, the citizens and the children of this great nation, are hunger and angry. We, we, we should cry. We have the right to cry to our father. I said, we are hungry, we are battered, we, we don't have its way. Many children are seen at home, even though school have resumed, and they have not resumed with the other children because their parents have no capacity to move them to school. So many things, so many people's hazards are still at stake. So many people's health are deteriorating day by day and there is no money for treatment. We are tired. Sir, we are tired. Nigerian masses are tired. So that is why we are coming up this day. We are not coming up to abuse you. We are not coming up to use the regulatory word on you. We are only demanding to know those authorities. If it is from the department of the CBN, sir, let us Nigerian know. And we will cry unto them. We are not crying to, we are not coming against them with arrow and bow. No, we will cry unto them, they will hear our cry that the Nigerian masses are suffering and we need the disposal of this one. And that is all we want. And I want to say to this, I want to say this Nigerians, all the high passing grand community, those who knows how to hide, who know how to say this week, next week, next tomorrow, next year, next month, please, I want all of you to stop. Nigerians are tired of your hyper. Nigerian grand community, we are tired of your hyper. You are tired of giving us fake hope, hope that does not exist anywhere. We are completely tired of it. Only thing that we need now is a lot on everybody's phone, all the subscribers' phone. That is the only thing that we needed. Every other update is not necessary. No matter how sweet the update is, Nigerian masses does not need that update. The only update that the Nigerian masses need as I speak is the alert on everyone's phone. And if it does not happen this week, then let whatever that want to happen, let it happen. But I have said it even in our last meeting that we are not here to make noise like every other person thinks that every agitator that come up are to make noise and go inside. We are not here to make noise and go inside. And we are not ready to reveal or to unveil our strategy to anybody. It's not any issue of coming to call on Nigeria to support us. We don't need your support. We are not here to, to call anybody to give us any support. But we have already strategized our movement. But we want to first of all go in the way of dialogue and peace. And if possible, get the disbursement done. And when it's done, it's done, everyone will go on its way. But if it is not going to be possible, after this week we are in that we are stepping today, once we don't get the disbursement and we, are, you, we don't unveil the names of this authority that have been dribbling us, because as far as I'm concerned, sir, they are dribbling you people and they are dribbling Nigerian masses. They are dribbling you people and they are dribbling Nigerian masses. How can somebody keep promising you and failing you, keep promising you and failing you? It is common sense for you to start thinking deeply. What exactly is the problem? Because we know that since all this, mo this money has not been transferred to you since December, that we were told if December had one week, that we will get the moment. Now, May, April is ending tomorrow. And the same authority is still dribbling us. It is common sense for us to think deep. It is common sense for us to think deep. We can't keep quiet anymore. We are tired. Nigerian masses are tired. I don't even know how to answer people's call any longer. I don't even know how to hear the pains of people anymore. There are some calls when I see their calls, I don't even know how to pick because their story is always sympathetic. And I am tired and sick of it. We have been turned to liars. Many pastors cannot speak boldly on their altar. We are tired of being called liars and deceivers. I am tired and sick of it. So therefore, 
this is the only option we have. Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Makama, Comrade Abdul Jamal Machine, the AGPGM, please, sirs, tell us the authorities. The masses want to know. In fact, they should know that the whole matter is going beyond you people. Please, sirs. Please, sirs. We need to know. We want to know. That is all that we want to know. God bless you as you respond to the cry of the masses that you have ever stand for, that you have ever fight for. God bless you all. Nigerians, everyone become, either we get the disappointment this week or never. Whether the authorities will get angry, as we don't get, if we don't get the disappointment this week, we are going to do things that even if they will get angry, let them get angry. And nobody cares anymore. God bless you all. I remember your own brother, Pastor Peter Mezuke. God bless you as we wait our meeting coming up very shortly again. God bless you and have a wonderful day.